Well, I'm here at American Propane, as it were. Everything seems to be uh, not on fire and no smoke. Everything seems to be fine. We're not cooking today. <laughs> All right. Jim Grigsby here is the owner of American Propane. He had a pretty uh, heavy-duty fire on January the 19th. Jim, what can you tell us about what happened? Well, I got up to Danforth Road, and I got up to uh, the meat house. I was going in to buy me a steak at about 545, and my cell phone rang, and, he, and they said, you need to come back to work. Uh, I'm heading home, and they said, no, your building's on fire. And I went, oh, my gosh. So I turned around and came on back down. As I got closer, it was, it was impossible to get through. That's when we knew we had a little issue on our hands with uh, uh, <laughs> what we'd been researching for about three weeks. Yeah, you, you said you, you'd had some problems, and you talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we had, we had brought in experts over the last three weeks about a, 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 a gas smell in the mm -hmm. business. It wasn't a propane smell. Right. Yeah, you were having, yeah, that's the thing. You know that you know the propane smell very well, and that's not oh, yeah. what you were getting, right? For 39 years, I've, I've been around it. So, <laughs> in, the, in the family business for 76 years. But yeah, we knew we, we took um, precautions and had experts come in that um, mm -hmm. know their field very well and, and, mm -hmm. and were um, pleased with their end was fine. Right, right. right. So, and, and to, to be clear, the, the fire you had could have happened at a shoe store or anywhere. Could have. Right, had zero to do with what you actually do. Right. Right. Now, you were telling me something before, too, that, you know, you feel very fortunate because the day of the fire was very warm uh, because you, right. you, you, were, you had some ventilation going that day. It, it was a warm day, and, and we do also gas logs. Mm -hmm. Some are vent-free, which put out a lot of heat, and mm -hmm. that's how we heat our office. Uh, the, the day was warm, mm -hmm. but they needed to be shown on, and the front doors were swung wide open to get that temperature back down and it added a little um oh an exit for the yeah, the gas that they kept the, smelling yeah. over the last three and a half weeks that mm -hmm. we were told was um probably nothing to worry about it might be a dead animal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course i went whatever mm -hmm. um and within 30 minutes of lockdown that night at 5 14 30 minutes yeah. to the minute uh, with the doors closed you had that captive Mm -hmm. Air gas mix that got just right and, and blew. We're all human, and so what we got to do is we got to forge on. So talk about what you're doing now. Well, there, there's been so many uh, hurdles, and I'm, I'm you know, I, I kind of look at it as a speed bump. If you don't have these going through life, you don't really take account of, of what you got. So um, with everybody safe, mm -hmm. and that was the main thing because I think we've got the greatest people that work for us that that uh, are irreplaceable. The rest mm -hmm. is insured, so we're, we're fine there. Uh, the next thing, once we started uh, accumulating um, uh, information about our losses and, and, and what we're covered on, what we're not, not covered on, then we then we uh, were faced with the dilemma of, of, of lost business income, mm -hmm. which was a, a, an issue that we both talked about with the insurance company and ourselves. So knowing what we were gonna be doing over the next four months was going to be different than what we've been doing since 1993. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we knew we had to put up a shingle somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it was just another uh, miracle that we had our neighbor come by and, and uh, to check on us and see how we were doing that day. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, we're doing fine, but we need to find a place. Well, you know what? I've got half a warehouse I don't use, <laughs> and we're right next door to you. <laughs> and I just thought this is this is a sign, and so um, we've hopped next door on our retail. Mm -hmm. Haven't slowed down much. Mm -hmm. uh, business has been good. I think with our goodwill out there and with what we sell and service, uh, our reputation is going to carry us through. And of course, during these next four months, while our new business is going to come back. Mm -hmm. in a different vibrant way on something that the uh, the boulevard has not seen before it's going to really be <laughs> special um very we're cool. excited so you're at ag and m uh granite granite yeah right marble right, the, right. You know. marble granite uh and and you know what is, is such a nice neat piggyback uh is that most of our outdoor kitchens use granite for a countertop sure so it's it was a natural, natural yeah. and and it's so close that if they if they can find where our american <laughs> propane was um We'll, we'll even make it easier for them and put up some signs 
which is about 100 feet south, <laughs> and into our new showroom. All right, well, tell people, wh what hours are you operating here at AG&M? AG m AG m we're going to be over here, same hours we were next door. Okay. 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, 10 to 2, Saturdays. Okay. Um, and obviously, we're going to have a reduced inventory, which is going to make us a little leaner. So we're probably going to have, uh, be working off, probably to the customer's benefit, some of the, the best prices we've ever offered. Well, very good. All right. Well, best of luck, Jim. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you, young man. <laughs>